Hi, I'm Amanda Kinglove, and I'm here with not one, but four Matildas from Matilda the Musical on Broadway. And today we're going to do a little Easter egg craft. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover our eggs with paper. And in the show, Matilda loves books, right? What would Matilda want to do with a book that is ripped? And I thought, well, she'd craft with it, right? Yeah. So everyone take, take just one piece of paper. Just take one piece okay. of paper. And what you want to do is you want to rip them into pretty small pieces. You want to think like the size of like a dime. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your foam brush. Everyone has two brushes and you're going to dip it in your Mod Podge. And then you're going to paint it onto your egg. So just paint like, you know, one little side. And then we're going to put paper on it. Okay, and just kind of push it down with your finger. And then you're gonna take the Mod Podge again and paint on top of it. And what that'll do is it'll seal it and make it stick to the egg, see? Everyone has a little bottle cap at their place. And so we have the bottle caps because it makes a nice little placeholder. So if you need a break, if you need to sneeze, if you need it to dry. How long does it usually take to dry? I'd say about like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so now our eggs are dry. They're fully covered. Everyone has theirs fully covered? Yep. yep. What we have here on these pieces of paper are what are called glue dots and then some like glue strips. You want to just take it and rub it onto the egg wherever you want it to go. Then you pull the paper off and the glue dot sticks. So you kind of just press it down? Mm-hmm. So just you take your glitter cool. and just sprinkle it. It's, like, it's really like um, putting salt on your french fries or something. And then what I like to do is like, I kind of just take my finger and I rub it around. Is it okay if it gets on this Yeah, the, this plate is to catch the excess. So that's why we have this here. Oop, oop. <laughs> did it break? <sighs> nope, it didn't These break. These are tough eggs. So every year when we wake up, we would go downstairs into the foyer and our parents would be waiting there for us. Mm -hmm. My brother and I would have a sheet of paper and on the back there would be math questions. And so the number led to a uh, clue. Uh -huh. So we had to search around the house oh for goodness. the same color paper and that number somewhere on the wall and then look around there for like a little Easter egg or a little action picker. That is really fun. I got a, I got a note and it said and it had a drawing of Easter Bunny on it. Mm -hmm. And my dad's an artist and it's from the Easter Bunny. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think I th I believe in the Easter Bunny, so it it probably was the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow this? Oh, sure. Thank you. In California, where that's where my mom grew up, and it's where my grandma lives. Mm -hmm. So we went there because it was my mom's birthday on Easter. My sister and me, they were, we went um, Easter hunting in the backyard. My grandma said there was a special treat, and then my sister found it, but not me. Because oh. she was faster than me. Usually as a tradition, we will make Easter eggs, uh -huh. dye them, yeah. and we will do an Easter egg hunt. Fun, my favorite. And we'll go to the mall and take pictures with the Easter Bunny. Oh, it's so really funny. I, my job is done here. Oh. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I had so yeah, much fun. Yeah, that was so much fun. Yeah. Guys, would you mind singing a line from the show for us? Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> Sometimes you have